house. We're at the house. And as you can see, it's uh, been a nice palette uh, strawberry planter that somebody made. But today I'm going to show you a few things that we've got up to today in October the 24th. Still so warm that it's nice and sunny. Actually getting a tan today. It's, look at this, shorts, look at those legs. Uh, hopefully our solar water heater up over there is giving us a nice shower for later. Charlotte is filming. I'm going to show you some of the things that we managed to rip off today. Uh, not rip off, uh, Motai Nai, we managed to recycle and reuse. We got all this insulation for free. And come this way, we found a basket of joy. Oh, tomatoes. Charlotte's been busy tying up the tomato farm. This is our special rain gutter. Goes off at the deck. This is where we have our 11 of these. But here, were a basket of goodies that were being thrown away in the gommy at the home center. So I immediately went in and asked, is it possible that we can have these? If you have a chainsaw, I think it's 14 inch chainsaw. I've got the chains, I just need the, the chainsaw. So just give me the chainsaw, I've got the chains. Two sets, actually. And then a plethora of other tools, some tin snips and some little garden snips as well, some scissors, brushes, some tools for my, uh, my drill, loads of Phillips screwdrivers, tire irons, some sprays for silicon, some ink for painting and drawing. That was just our haul today. If you have a look over here, the grapevine is still growing, but I need to go and cut it and look at what I need to do with that. The apple tree needs also pruning for later, and the beds here are being prepared for no dig. So we're gonna actually start this garden as a no dig garden. And to that end, we're making tons of compost and shoes on <laughs> and right now we're actually uh, preparing we're putting in some uh, winter spinach or you know late late season spinach right now in these little drills getting them started as seedlings and the great thing about having a composting bins that are full that you can actually use them as a hotbed. Uh, that this is starting to heat up quite nicely. The heat's coming through. And if you come closer, Charlotte, you can see that I've actually started some other seeds already, even in nighttime. It will keep a little bit of heat going through the plants so that germination will still happen even at this time. Um, if we come this way, Charlotte should be in this video, but I don't think she's going to go and ask to be. She built this today. Yeah, well done, Charlotte. Woo! <laughs> Strong ass. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Look at that. So this is a new composter so that we have our no dig garden going for next year. We've actually filled up four bins. It's not the way to do it, but we want to get so much compost that we can actually have uh, mulch about 10 centimeters over all the garden beds that we're using. We're going to the Je uh, Japanese Agricultural Society today to join and we're going to get some pig shit or cow shit or horse shit. We don't know. We just need shit. Give us your shit. That's all from the house now. Bye!